Hello, let's get into the weekly messages and get a weekly message out and energy out or clarification and validation. Someone was uh, in a self-imposed imprisonment or couldn't see or were blinded or couldn't see the whole picture or were unable to break through certain things. Um, there, is, there has been a big energy this week um, with clients, with healing, all of the above. Um, yeah, so someone's coming in with clarity, with victory, with knowing, you know, when you, you really know how you have all the facts or you have two of cups on the bottom. But what we've got here is it feels like someone's got confidence or they know they can move out of or through this self-imposed imprisonment. But what we want to know, yeah, clarity, absolutely, someone coming forward. So someone who couldn't come forward or wouldn't come forward or didn't see things clearly, they are absolutely illuminated. They are absolutely clear and confident in moving forward now for whatever reason. And we have here a genuine offer or an apology or just their, their feelings. They know where their feelings lie, okay? Yeah, they're ready to take a leap of faith on a new path. They're ready to start a new cycle, all right? Um, yeah, look, moving on to Karma Waters, right under the confidence. Someone here has definitely got all the information, all the tools, all the knowledge, all the readiness to move forward. Transformation under the sun card. Something has been illuminated here that transformed this person or enabled them to see the bigger picture or the whole picture or whatever it is, okay? So there's an offer coming forward. Now, what, transformation, this is imbalance or indecision. So we're going to ask now what, what year, okay? Tower. What was the tower? That choices. Yeah, okay. This person definitely um, had trouble in the past with choices, okay? You know, we can have too many choices. We can be not clear on our choices. We can make choices under certain circumstances, meaning um, family, uh, you know, um, family conditioning, family belief systems, as in how you are conditioned and brought up. So it could be that. It could be that evidence, information, tools were, were you know, hidden or, or uh, not brought forward, okay? It can be having not all the information, all right? So let's see what, what was this. What was this imbalance or indecision about for this person? Because they've, they've had a tower here. They've had a tower. That's the universe stepping in, awakening them or changing their foundation. So what, what created an imbalance? Mm, it's about giving. Oh, got a feeling this is money. This is, you know, like giving to. We've got a queen of wands here, but that, that can represent... Overflowing abundance, two of cups. Hmm. Definitely a reevaluation of a situation because we've got the chariot and the death and rebirth, and here we're reevaluating how to grow, how to move forward, endings and beginnings. But what is this page of swords? Third parties, choices, the lovers. Mm, not defending, not standing up, not, not. So we have a troublemaker here. We have someone who wanted to give to a connection or a direction or a person or a place or a situation. But this is something that was very equal. This was something that had a higher purpose, higher commitment, you know, um, a path of, of a lot of abundance. They actually wanted to give to this path. Something held them up in their tracks from moving forward and put an ending, in a, an ending to that. It was this situation here, whatever this situation here is, as we know, the Page of Swords, very good, very good at, at communication, but as I said, a lot of facts, no follow through, a lot of, lot of, lot of, you know, when you get knowledge out of a book, 
um, but you've never implemented or had experience. It's a very unevolved person. It's a know-it-all. It's a know-it-all. It's a gossiper. It's a, and it was a third party. It was a third party situation, an interferer, a troublemaker, someone who stirs things up. And none of their, you know, they, they really don't have the evidence, the skill, the knowledge, but they really can sound convincing. Like, you know, this is someone who can give you all of the information. You're like, oh, wow, this person knows what they're doing, but they actually don't. <clears throat> so this 30 part, third party came in as the lover's choices. And, you know, this person, there's heartbreak here and, and having to defend justice over that. So what's happening? The tower is justice, guys. Justice over this third party, justice over this troublemaker, justice over this heart, this person that came in and created all this heartbreak. Yep, a new beginning, putting in work to the Ten of Pentacles, overwhelming, and the Nine of Swords shows me that someone here has realized something to the point of, this is absolutely, oh my God, like, oh my God, meltdown overwhelm panic attack about a ten of pentacles i want more information the divine has stepped in a higher yeah something out of the blue is shocking shocking triggered trauma triggered this person and now they are really in between a rock and a hard place um and they're really fearful someone's really fearful here Ooh, what are they fearful of? Ooh, going against um, people, going against them. Um, you know, this is this is an energy of I thought all these people were on board. I thought all these people were my friends and my family and my confidants and my whatever. They're not. They weren't. Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, I know what it is. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, Nine of Pentacles, it's it's that there's this story. There is this. There has been this theme. It came up in another reading. It does seem to be in the consciousness and the collective a lot. And how do I know that? Because I I am seeing clients every day. I see a collective consciousness. You know, client after client come in with the same issue in a different situation, but the same issue. There's a collective consciousness. Someone here is independent, self-sufficient, built, built it on their own, hard worker, you know, in their, in their truth, walking their talk, um, abundant, magnet, you know, magnetizing, like, like just abundant, oozing abundance because they're walking their talk, they're in their truth, they're authentic, right? They're a queen of cups, they're a heart, they're giving, caring, nurturing, they love, um, as in they're giving to nurture, to, to love, to help, to, to nurture, right? <laughs> and that's what they've realized. They've realized who that is. Yeah, a high priestess. Oh my God. High priestess, nine of pentacles. Now, high priestess is someone now. If you're not spiritual or, or anything like that or haven't got those gifts or abilities, you would be very, if you do, you're very high ranking. So someone has worked out of your ranking here. They've actually realized who you are and you're authentic and the real deal. If you're not that, you, this is, this is, they've realized they have a higher contract with you. An ordained contract with the divine. That's what they've found out. Yep, someone's told them this King of Pentacles, fated wheel of change, ten of swords ending. This is betraying reset cycle. This is betraying your divine counterpart, high contracted partner. Mm. This is Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Empress, High Priestess. And we've got the Empress sitting behind them here. You see? Saw it the wrong way, upside down. He had his back to this Empress. 
fated wheel of change, reevaluating, now wanting to take action, but he, he or she, place it where it fits, has this Queen of Swords blocking him. <gasps> Cannot move forward. Fighting, wanting to move forward, trapped, burdened, needing courage, can't look, can't wants to move forward and can't. To wish fulfillment, a reset, a marriage, security, stability, building. They are now in despair. You know, there's a message, text, email, conversation set up by Spirit about a new beginning. This is entrepreneurial. Um, oh no, this is a message coming in from someone they're committed to. And it's more illusion, more of delusion lies, or, or that's what they're finding out. Yeah. It was all karmic to, to block their spiritual path, their, their future. And see, the Ten of Swords, ultimate betrayal. We've got a King of Cups here, overwhelming align, heart emotion and, and heart alignment. So they possibly could have had an, an activation and now see it and now realize it and now feel it and have gone into their heart energy only to find out that they betrayed a spiritual path who, what, that was their future and that was their karmic choice and see deception, sabotage. Now the clarity has come because the person they're with was doing all the illusion, delusion, moon work, spell work, whatever you want to call it, um, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, they have been caught out. They definitely have been exposed here. Um, and this person is determined to come forward. This person is very determined to come forward to their divine counterpart who they had peace and tranquility with. So we'll just wrap that up there, all right? So someone's had a big awakening. What is the other message here? They are definitely moving on to karma waters. They have all their tools, all their skills, all their knowledge all the information so what what else do we need to know why have they decided what will happen when they move forward like what, what they're obviously oh my god guys new deck hung hung hanged man hung man a hung man no a hanged man all right <coughs> not funny the first thing in the morning the divine stepped in to this king of pentacles this king of pentacles is generally someone really focused on building a home uh, a foundation security stability okay um out in the cold and the death card Oof. An ending here. Yeah, see, they were resistant or someone was resistant or in resistance with them. So the divine actually stepped in here uh, to move this person forward. So whoever or whatever this resistance was, and now it could be family, friends, it could be them, it could be all of it. It could be, you know, an awakening. It could be anything, really. Um, yeah, they're in great disappointment. They've realised, yeah. I, I just heard, to be honest, yeah, I hurt the wrong one. That's what they're looking at. They're looking at, I hurt the wrong one, and look what came out, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely, oh, icky nose, this is definitely about leaving someone out in the cold. <clears throat> someone out in the cold that, that is single, independent, like part of their future, um, Alone. This is an independent single person. That's how I know. And it was this Queen of Swords. This keeps coming up in my readings and I'm really sick of it. Like I, I really just like honestly move forward. Like who is this Queen of Swords? Like this this is ridiculous. You know, look at look at this. I don't I don't really care who or what someone has over you. Allowing someone to threaten, blackmail, hold something over you, hold you account, manipulate. I don't care if they've got narcissistic qualities or whatever the issue is. 
I'm sorry, but if you are allowing that person to do that, there is an ending, there is a transformation, there is a wish fulfillment. I don't know why this keeps coming up, honestly. Illumination Sun card, it is about giving or, or receiving money or something. Okay. Yeah, see, not, not letting them move forward. Yeah, not letting them get victory. So we have a situation here, guys, and we're going to talk about this. We have a situation here. Yeah, troublemaker. I turn the deck up the other way and there's still... Mm. Whatever this Queen of Swords energy is, this is someone who... It's illuminated that... They just wanted to drain, take, you know, this is like leave you with nothing. This is like drain your resources. This is like drain you of energy. This is like whatever. It was, it was to interfere, all right? It's all been illuminated and it was about them receiving. It's also the energy of I will take it all, you know, I will take everything you've got or, or I will... X, Y, Z, or, you know, and look, blocked their heart, blocked their their, their, their intuition, their, their, there's no secret. Like, I will expose all your secrets, right? You will not get victory. You know, this is, this is... Yeah, King of Cups in reverse. You will not love anyone. They keep them in their emotions imbalanced or unbalanced. They could get them into drinking excess, excess fighting, excess this, excess that. Like this is someone who can really stir up someone's emotions or get them emotionally off balance. If you are with someone, all to block a higher contract. We've got the moon card, delusion. Also, they don't heal, don't see. Oh, my God. If, okay. When we do readings, well, when I do readings, and I have been doing this for over 35 years more, seen spirits since I was young I've said this many times so I was naturally you know gifted in in this and you know blessing or a curse I don't know um, but I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear I'm here to speak the truth and it's creators truth and it is the truth of I see clients every day all day and I have for 35 years full time I've seen both sides. I have worked through any, there's no trauma. I have not heard, worked on, worked with, uh, had experience, um, knowledge, wisdom of both sides. I've seen a side of many experience. Spirit said, use the word experience. So I sit here <clears throat> with actual experience and every individual is different and every individual I can tell you has has is running on childhood programming and trauma and this is a classic example because when you get yourself in these situations masculine or feminine this is this is just to help this is to heal all right you have to look at why you allow enable and stay in and around someone like this someone who threatens you belittles you controls you will destroy you i mean it's narcissistic guilt trip you bind you codependent you to the point where you you cannot be free to be who you are. And I don't mean free outside the relationship. 
I mean free inside the relationship. If you have tied yourself or got yourself into that situation, please go and seek help from professionals. Some people don't realise that they were brought up with very narcissistic parents, family members, karmic family members, and they think this is normal. They think this is love. They think this is normal. And if you have to seek approval or have someone that controlling around you, I would very well advise you to seek professional help around some form of parental or upbringing. It doesn't have to be your parents. Could be could have been other people around you. There is some form of really control freak narcissist. This is next level. And we usually are attracted to that because we have lived it. It's normal. You have to find the courage to get seek the, the right safety steps to get away from these people. And, and if you've been in that, you know, and you go to someone and this is this this leads on, got it, got it, got it. Let, and you meet someone who's very loving, very caring, very loving unconditionally, very accepting, very validating, very nurturing, very caring, going to build for you, make it about you. You will reject those people. It will feel odd. It will feel like it's fake. They will accuse you of being fake, those people, those people. It feels odd and they're waiting for something that can't be real, that can't be right, that you, you, you're faking because they're so used to this. It could be a mother that you always had to please and validate and could never get, if you could never get validation from a parent, if you could never get acknowledgement from a parent, if you are constantly trying to prove yourself to parents and, and you know, there's a hole in the bucket, you are never going to get that approval. You are never going to seek that validation. That is a form of, of I probably shouldn't use this word, it's a form of that word in your upbringing. If there were ultimatums, if it was conditional love, that all falls under that category. Something's very off here. Spirit said yes. Yep, they cannot see it and they have not been able to see it. And, and it's true, it's like a Stockholm Syndrome energy. You go, open the door, there's the door, you can go, you're free to go, go, be you. Yeah, they can't, they can't. They run back or they look for the next, next um, feed of that same vibration because that feels normal and that's how we get entrapped. And, and it's interesting, I've seen it, I've witnessed it, I've experienced it, I get it, I get it. I, I've seen people, places and situations where that person is so ingrained in, in that they cannot see the narcissistic people and they really gravitate to them and you know they'll, they'll they're all about reward and gratification of them so if you're pleasing them all big rewards you're a, you're an amazing person you know gold stars all of the above and and an unconditional person they'll be truthful with you they love you anyway so they're going to be truthful open they're not just going to tell you what you want to hear you don't just get rewarded because you did what they said or you're pleasing them or you're under their control or you're agreeing with them or you're seeking their approval it, it's uh, there's a lot of conditioning here that that seems to be with this person yeah Spirit said, yeah, and, and, and it was how they see nurturing. It, yeah, they're releasing that burden or they have to, or they're realising that. Someone's had a big awakening here and this is the awakening. The awakening is they've realised. 
And we've all done it. We've all done it. We've all been there. You can be around someone and it's too much love. They're doing too much for you. Um, um, it's unconditional love it, and, and it freaks them out. It, it will, they are not used to it. You become the predator if you're in that energy to these people. Um, it can't be right, you know. It's not how I've been taught to be motivated, validated, have a connection, a relationship. <clears throat> we get a lot of it, just an example, not putting this on anybody because it's not everybody. You know, you've either had a mother or a father that you had to constantly please or it was about them, okay? And it was about their approval of you. Well, guess what? Unconditional love actually is the other way. It's total acceptance of who you are. Yeah. Mm. Without the... Oh, I kind of said that wrong. It's right, but there's more to it. But anyway, you, you see collaborating with, see healing. Someone's had a major awakening and, and I think they, I think, you know, they were really blinded and trapped in this. Oh, what, oh that's right. Spirit said finish. See, there's a tower. There's a tower. The tower's going to be revealed, right? They're going on a search for more. So they've realized it's like you're in a group, person, place situation. You've realized they're very narcissistic. There's some traits here. That's probably why you've attracted those people, uh, groups, associations, partners stuck in this partnership, whoever this queen of wands, swords is, right? And why I keep saying what, like, oh, because it was down here. Um, so what I was going to say, sorry, it keeps going. It's early in the morning. Um, they had love confused. They had love confused with unconditional, like conditional love and unconditional love. And, you know, when we go into those energies, they don't feel normal. Okay? You'll get paranoid, you'll get triggered. You'll get confused. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I've got it. And they said, I've seen someone and all of us have, and they cannot see something about someone. It doesn't matter how many people tell them this person is toxic or their bad behavior. They're looking at the bad behavior, and I'm talking really bad behavior. They're looking at the bad behavior. There's always chaos, dramas codependency, control, manipulation, lots of dopamine, lots of dopamine hits. There's the addiction, you know. Then they're into controlling. Then they're into all, you know, all of the but Then they're into destroying you. Then they're into taking everything you've got. Then they're into, like, that's narcissistic, all right? And when you're brought up in that, you think everybody's going to do that as well, by the way even if you're around people who love unconditionally. But I, I've seen it, and you can have 20 friends, 20 family members saying to this person, this person's completely toxic for you. It is unstable. It is this. It is that, right? They know. They see it. They're not silly, but they cannot. They are spellbound. They will not stand up to that person. They will not. Def they will defend that person. They will choose that person over everyone. And if you are experiencing that, that is a deep. That is trauma. That is one hundred percent fear trauma. That somewhere you you. Child goes back to childhood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, King of Swords, Queen of Wands here too. Yep. You know, some of you, it could have been both. Two people like this, mother and father, I don't know. Uh, two, a friend and partner, but two friends, I, I don't know. 
no, you've had to become that to be in that. You either join them or you leave them. That's what happens. You ask anyone who has suffered in that or been through that therapy or understanding or, or got outside it. You, there, there's no in between with these people. You either have to cut them completely out of your life, it doesn't matter who they are, friends, family, whatever, and move on safely, taking appropriate steps, getting some appropriate support and help, and making sure you're safe and everything's safe, and, and they will hold everything over your head so you can't, um, and you have to get, get away, you cannot have, there's no, there's no middle ground with these people, there is no reasoning. That's why you hear people say they have to leave the whole friends or, or groups or partner or, or you can't work with these people. There is no two way with these people. It's one way. And, and we get stuck in, you know, the unconditional people get stuck in. We can work on this. We can be friends. We can, we, we're going to be equal. We're going to work through it. We're going to, we're going to. You, you have to come to the realisation that these people don't work like this. They don't work like this. It's not, it's not in there. You, you, you might as well talk to a brick wall. And they're going to tell you they are. They're going to tell you everything you want to hear. <sighs> Moon. Ruling, seduction, like, yeah. Someone's with a hundred percent narcissist. That's just nothing but illusion, delusion. Man, this person's full blown. These people think they own you for life. They can control you for life and they will. And maybe that's the, the, the yeah, maybe that's the epiphany. Unfortunately, there is no two-way street here. There is no fixing these situations. There is no, it's, 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 it's you seeking the support of people, places, professionals, validations, clarifications from outside these connections. I've seen, yep, people, and they do look like your counterpart and you think you're in love and you just, all this stuff. And it's really because you've been somehow trauma bonded. Yeah, anyway, we won't go in there. But I've seen these people be like in Stockholm Syndrome. I, I've, I've, I've seen it, I've, I've had, you can see when they're in it, complete Stockholm, they, they will not even say one bad word, they are in absolute fear of this person and that, that doesn't have to be physical fear, that can be emotional fear, mental fear or spiritual fear. And all of it, all of it together. So they, they freeze, they're frozen. This is an energy they, you know, whether we had controlling mother or father or this or no love or no connection or, you know, the disconnection, that's become normal for this person. And they do not um, stand up to it. Yeah, and they've realised that it's all been sabotage and deceit and deception. Yeah, see, big major lesson, ten of swords. This is big for this person. Please, please seek help outside. Your go, go to people you don't know. Like go, go to do. Yeah, get an outside opinion. I've seen people control. Um, you know, because of children or family or whatever, or you know, being isolated or, or rejected or abandoned or having money held over them or whatever it is, or a home or security, stability. That's what these people do. That's what they do. Yeah. The devil and complete fear and block you and keep you trapped and stuck and blind and stuck and trapped in a rock and a hard place. I cannot advise you on this. 
on what to do because uh, all I want to say is be safe, keep yourself safe, seek the professional help and advice, make the steps and, you know, heal yourself have, and learn to have your own feelings and your own opinion and, and create your own life. And I, I, I have, have forged, a, you know, a life built from scratch to, on my own. Many people have and do. It is possible. People are out there who will help and support. Yeah, this person's deep. They've got no... And the reason I'm saying this, guys, is because I feel, you know, this is hidden. Um, and a lot's been hidden that's coming out. But this person may not feel they have anyone who understands. They may be burying this deep. They may be... In this This is great despair. This, is, this worries me. This is worrying. I am concerned for this energy here. This can be, I don't know who to turn to, where to go. I am inside. I am, this is shut down, shut off. This is, this is fear. This is. I want to say to this person, block everything out and trust your intuition. Block everything out and trust your intuition and keep yourself safe. why this message wanted to come out this morning I wasn't even going to do a reading today I had a big day it's a collaboration of people that this person has to or the other person works with or there's a collaboration of people in this so this is why you might have to make your moves quietly internally make silent moves or you're dealing with someone who makes silent moves who collaborates or they're saying make silent moves i think it's both ways to be honest and co and collaborate with with people who will work with you because you know when we're in friends and groups and families and things like that they've all got an agenda they've all got an agenda I'm going to wrap it up there, but I'm telling you, this is this is not good. Everything around this person's been a lie, an illusion, false deception, fighting, conflict, ten of swords, tower, the devil, moving on, absolute mental, emotional, physical, spiritual breakdown, breakthrough, whatever, done. Fear trapped. They've reevaluated everything and they are moving towards this Empress energy here. Now, Empress can be just birthing a new cycle, you know, getting out of Dodge and doing it yourself and being independent. It could be, it could be whatever. Okay. It could be to nurturing. Maybe they know what is nurturing now, what is real, what is true. You know, it could be um For some, this is a divine counterpart. They're seeking, yeah, look, a past, like remedy, a love, a past life, a love, a romantic. Yeah, okay, collaborating. We're going to wrap it up there because we've got the emperor and the empress. So that, that's to do with the divine. That's to do with a rebirth, a reset. Um, that's to do with two very higher divine counterparts that or, or, no, it is because we've got the emperor and empress there. Love, romance, collaboration, moving towards that fast. But, you know, with Emperor and Empress, that is put together by the divine. So that's also why we've got towers and learning and all of this. And sometimes, you know, we are apart from our divine counterparts because they do need to learn that lesson and they need to learn it themselves and they need to break free and through themselves because sometimes you can tell them, help them, guide them, 
be there, advise them, welcome to my world, and they are not going to listen, they are not going to take it, they're not, they have to go through it to learn it because they're not just going to take the advice. They can't because they're programming behind it. Nothing makes sense and they just get more and more and more confused. So they might be running around getting all this advice and getting advice and then they're getting advice from the people who actually program them and then, you know, it's a big mess for that person. But there, it has been a breakthrough, okay? So um, choices was, yeah, and blinded to, to certain things re-evaluation all right we're wrapping it up there i hope that helped somebody and um gave some form of clarity that's why i felt the urge to jump on today obviously um unplanned uh so something's happened if this is happening to you um best advice seek outside information from professionals keep yourself safe make your moves silent stop letting everybody know what you're doing and and maybe you you know block everyone and everything out and and trust your intuition okay um it's time and i think that was a big test for this person and and we could you know everyone can put their hand up and say they've experienced this to some level or or had someone in their life that has that you know has experienced this at some level and you know there are ex there are levels in this stuff there are extreme levels okay all right take care bye